Hey guys, Lou here, Tiny Mountain Houses. We gotta check out this latest build. Uh, it's a custom 28 foot Castle Peak. Um, you can see it's got the uh, optional uh, cedar accent. Um, we've got the uh, uh, single light French door here. We painted a, a nice color for this particular buyer. I wanna point out, um, this build, we've added a staircase. You'll see that once we get in the inside of it. But what happens then, is we end up taking out one of the 30 by 80 standard windows we replace it with a 36 by 80 window and we typically will place a, a transom window above the staircase that's what you see right there um, nice contrast um, we're trying to supplement the, the loss of, of, of a natural light uh, when we do add the staircase and i think it turned out really nice uh, with that i want to jump inside let's take a peek hey Check this guy out. You know, one of the first things that I noticed anyway, uh, what we've done in this house is the, are the finishes. So you take a look at, um, if Nick can zoom in, contrast, we get a, a kind of a taupe uh, b-board as opposed to the white that we normally do. Nice contrast between the white and the, and the taupe b-board, don't you think? I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, I want to flip around here. I talked about the single 36 by 80 inch window. That's what you're looking at right here. And if Nick goes over to the right a little bit, you can see where we've added the staircase. That's a storage staircase. Handrail, as always, when you opt in the staircase. Um, and then the, you can see the, uh, the transom window that's placed there uh, above the stairs. Um, so that, that's what happens in here. So we, we end up losing one of the windows and make the other one bigger uh, to supplement uh, the, the natural light in here. Um, and since we're standing in this area, you know, here's what we've got, the, the, the entry cabinet with the three drawers. Um, and uh, let's see here, Let me slide the ladder over. There we go. And the other thing that we get inside here, I don't know if Nick can see this, let me slide the ladder over a little bit. Um, we've added uh, clothes rods. Um, so we've added two clothes rods there. Uh, you can't really place one this way because the clothes hanger uh, is wider than the depth. So that's why we've done it this way. Um, notice we've added the three drawers below as opposed to the shoe cubbies that, that come standard here. Um, you know, let us know what you want in yours, and we can do uh, a lot of a lot of different things here. Um, I want to take a look at the kitchen. Um, we've got uh, in this particular case, um, the buyer has opted for an LG uh, stainless steel refrigerator as opposed to our uh, standard 9.1. This is a 12.5, I believe, with a top freezer. Beautiful, beautiful refrigerator. I think. Um, speaking of beautiful, yeah, man, I love this. I love this range and you know, the blue lighting in here, the, the additional counter space folding down the, the backsplash, the, the uh, cast iron grates. Uh, it's a propane unit. And you got a good size oven um, for, a, for a small unit like this. So I think that's it's a beautiful addition um, to, to, uh, to our builds. Um, countertop wise, this, these are standard counters. In other words, the finish, um, you've got a lot of choices with different finishes, but it's a laminate countertop as opposed to a solid surface, which would be optional. Um, notice that we've added the apron sink and the optional pull down uh, a nickel faucet here that we do quite a few of them with. I want to point out the cabinetry. Uh, the cabinet finish is, is standard. This is alder. We call it a clear finish. And notice the 54 inch tall overheads as always adjustable shelving and it really makes for a, for a nice contrast in here um, i want to point out over here um, uh, this, this these are uh, uh, ball bearing uh, full extension drawer guides comes all the way out so you don't have any wasted space uh, with the drawers and these are finger pull style cabinet doors Okay, so you don't have to have hardware if you don't want. I want to point out the uh, pantry cabinet. What we've done in this case, check it out, washer dryer, and it's encased. So it's nice, tucked away. When you want to use it, just open her up. And you've got all this additional storage above here as well. Um, I'm going to walk back and take a look at the media room. Look how cool this turned out. 
I mean, we added four more feet to this house. I mean, this is a lot of room added uh, into, this, into this flex space. Um, we've got the little sectional sofa in here to kind of give you an idea of what you could do. Um, added the entertainment center here. It's huge. Look at all that space. I mean, really, it, it, it's substantial. Um, if you want one, we can do them in a zillion different finishes. I mean, not a big deal. Uh, countertops, etc. Um, but this was a custom uh, for this buyer, and I, I think it turned out beautiful, don't you? So you got a lot of room in this space. You do a lot of different things in here. Um, I want to walk over and take a look at um, the, the storage uh, staircase. You get a, kind of a glimpse of um, how much room there really is inside of here. It is substantial. We've done things like added uh, 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 safes inside here, you know, different designs with, with uh, shelving, um, you know, whatever meets your needs, just let us know. We'd, we'd love to uh, talk to you about it and see if we can do exactly what you want. All right. I want to point out the Murphy table. This is a carbonized oak butcher block. It is a Murphy, meaning it folds up into position. Um, so you can use it for a multitude of uses you, whether a dining table, uh, workspace, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, really easy to drop down. And a lot of times what we'll do is, a, is actually a, a shelf here that's anywhere from four to six inches. So you can leave items here while the Murphy's folded down. In this case, because of the staircase, we didn't want anything that's going to get in your way of coming up and down. So that's, that's the reason you see this. Uh, flush up against you or fairly flush up against the wall. Um, with that, let's go take a look at the uh, main loft. Check it out. So what we've got up here um, is we've got the optional um, storage uh, cabinet here with adjustable shelves in the, in the bottom and the upper. Um, laminate top on the, in this case and of course you can choose whatever you want for finishes and, and, and countertop space um, and you got a lot of room so take a look at this you've got three windows you got two egress windows meaning you can get out of here in the event of an emergency um, you've got uh, oh do you see my buddy over here you see the hippo got him again seems to follow me wherever I go uh, anyway, nice space up here. This is a queen size bed. You can very easily place a king bed up here. Um, so once again, a lot of flexible space up here. You've got almost four feet of head space uh, in this loft area. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but underneath the lofts, you've got six foot six inches, which is standard uh, for, for most of our builds. Um, so nice space up here. Um, you can see um, that, that you, you can do a lot of different things. You, know, you can even place the bed in a different uh, orientation that can allow you a lot more space on this side of it. So really, it, it's up to you. Um, so with that, let's keep going. So let's check out the bathroom. So we got here, this is our standard 48 inch bathroom for a Castle Peak. Um, it, it, the standard cabinet, or I should say linen cabinet, is a four door linen cabinet. What you're looking at here is we've replaced one of the doors with a bank of drawers. Easy stuff. Um, notice the uh, medicine cabinet above the sink. We've optioned that in as opposed to a uh, standard mirror. Uh, the sink, what you're looking at there is a top mount china sink. That is standard. The faucet is standard as well. The toilet, I want to point out, what this buyer wanted was a, was a they call it a high rise toilet. So we ended up going with a, a different toilet in this build. Um, based on the specifications the customer wanted. It's a little bit taller. It looks kind of cool, doesn't it? 48-inch uh, shower, two seats, one piece, which is standard in, this, in, this, uh, in the Castle Peak. Uh, enclosed ceilings. Um, you've got uh, LED lighting in the ceiling. Uh, and an exhaust fan that vents to the outside of the house. All right, here we are. Let's wrap it up. We got a 28-foot custom-built Castle Peak. Um, you can see the uh, extensive size, if you will, of this media room, the entertainment center. We've got a built-in washer dryer in here, uh, mini split, if I didn't talk about that earlier, that's a ductless, and heating, a ductless heating and cooling system. Um, 
the really cool three burner propane range, the apron sink, the custom uh, toilet, um, the additional bank of drawers in the bathroom with the uh, medicine cabinet. Um, this house really turned out beautifully in my opinion. The um, nice contrast with the, with the taupe walls and the, the uh, white millwork really adds a really nice flavor to this, to this particular build. I'm really happy with it. I think it turned out cool. Hopefully, you know, you guys like what we're doing too. If we can do anything for you, please give us a call. You know, if you're, you're thinking about a tiny house build, please let us know. Thank you. Mm -hmm.